Take a look at this big mess. This is the Musa Baju meltdown of 2022. So this is the clump that I transplanted in spring. So these ones got to about six feet overall height. And as you can see, they bore the brunt of the cold that we had. 60 hours below freezing, as low as uh, 19 degrees or seven, minus seven Celsius. And they are mush. So when I moved them, they were cut right back to the ground because I wasn't able to get the get it out, drag it out here without damaging the stems. So we just I cut it right off. And so they got about six or six or seven feet by the end of the year. And now it's a sloppy, wet mess, very heavy, and they will begin to stink. Next up is my second largest clump of Musa Baju. Look at this. It's, it's so heavy. So these ones um, were, oh, eight or nine feet tall. A little bit more carnage. <laughs> There's another clump, not that big, maybe seven foot. Oh, but they knocked down my trackie. What a bugger. And then there's another one back up in there. Those ones were small. They've always struggled. It's quite dry. Um, these are ones that I'd actually like to remove, but if you've ever tried to dig one out, it is a, it is a tough task. Finally, you're looking at my 20 footers. So these ones never get cut back for me. Uh, in five years, I've never lost any of the big ones. Now I did have two flower. The two largest ones did flower this year. So two of them were scheduled to come down. I kind of wish I'd taken them down beforehand so I would remember which one was which. But uh, that's about six foot high right there. And when I squeeze these ones, uh, I mean, they're firm inside, but I, I bet you that's mush. But in here, there are some very large ones. That one uh, might be okay. But look at the mess. It's all over my trackies. And uh, a fellow gardener of mine, I went and looked at his, and he has two very large clumps. Uh, one Musa Baju and one uh, Sycamensis. And uh, they're completely cut down to the ground as well. So this year looks like everyone's gonna be starting over from the ground up. So I guess we'll wait and see how big these ones get. Um, I would think I'd get about eight foot out of them. That's my guess. Cause this clump here tends to grow pretty quickly. Now I gotta get it off. I just, I didn't realize that it actually, it may have even broken some of those fronds, hopefully not. Finally getting a dry day. So I came out here to clean up that first big uh, clump, my tallest clump of Musa Baju, the one that was taller than this tree. So around 20 feet, let's say. You can see it really damaged this trackie on the left here, bent the fronds right down. That kind of bums me out. A couple of the stalks flowered and I usually cut them down um, in October or November and I just didn't get around to it. So. Anyway, here is the clump. If I can get back in here. So I think that stem there is one of the ones that flowered. Just gonna give you a shot. I don't know where the other big one was that flowered. I mean, it could have been those two right there. Um, I cut them back and you can see it's white. That tissue's a little more solid, but I don't think that's living tissue. I think that's dead. So these are probably just gonna die back to the ground come spring i'll get in here and cut them down even further but uh, you can see this clump is so a good four foot wide these things get absolutely massive and what you see above ground is nothing compared to what's underground um, if i could i would remove these from this spot but anyway look at all this open space <laughs> there's a few uh dead fronds on the trackies as well Front, so cut those back. And that's 
So we shall see how this looks. You got a little bit of open sky there now. And I think that trackie there is just bending to the left to avoid the bananas.